healthy scalp is the key to everything. I'm the owner of the Jeff Beauty, where I specialize in natural hair care. What's up, Blooms? Welcome back to my channel. Today, y'all are in for a treat. I'm getting my first silk press experience with a natural hair stylist that specializes in natural hair care. So go ahead and sit back and relax and check out the full video. Yeah, it's always good to put oil or something. You know, put oils on. You don't ever want to just be brushing and scrubbing on dry scalp. That's not healthy. It can cause, like, you know, inflammation, just irritation to the scalp redness can even depending on you know what type of whatever you got going on on your scalp it can even cause it to bleed so you have to be very, very careful when it comes to the scalp that's why a lot of people don't suggest like taking this comb and just scratching mm -hmm. like you're causing more problems than you think mm -hmm. and irritation and inflammation healthy scalp is the key to everything i'll just say that I know a lot of people don't like washing their hair as often, but depending on your scalp condition, you might have to wash your hair more frequently than others. You know, I can't say you need to wash your hair three times a week, but if you have scalp issues, you really should be at least washing it once a week until it's under control. And that's just for any type of hair, whether it's natural or, or is it just specifically for natural hair? Well, as far as what I'm speaking on is um, specifically for natural hair. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I can only give it, I'm only giving advice on what, you know, I specialize in and what I'm used to seeing. Right. But I definitely feel like when it comes to a lot of natural hair girls and scalp and stuff like that, I do see a lot of dry scalp or we have it where there's um, a lot of buildup too because they're not washing it thoroughly or some people they put way too much product on their hair. And I feel like that's another thing to understanding how to thoroughly cleanse your hair, understanding how much of the product to use on your hair. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like you're, when you're overusing certain things, you're causing your hair to your scalp, more irritation and dryness. Right, and you Just, want your scalp to breathe. Yeah, you want it to breathe. You don't want to over, you don't want to overdo it. And depending on like your 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 hair condition too, it also has a, a lot to do with what type of product you're using too. Because if your hair is very dry and your scalp is very dry, you shouldn't use a lot of clarifying shampoos. Because it really is just making your hair, it's stripping it of your natural oils and making it more dry. <laughs> you want to tell us more about what you're using right now? All right, now we are using. This is my scalp exfoliator. So you have a good amount of dry spots throughout your hair. So what I did was go through and add a little bit of oil just to kind of loosen it up because you don't want to just start lifting up any type of flakes or dandruff on dry scalp. Mm -hmm. And then once I loosen it up to give it a little moisture, I go through with the scalp exfoliator and just give it a little bit of moisture too while exfoliating it. When you see on the exfoliator, it has plants, it has moisture, it has lifting. Right now, I'm just focused on moisture because it's just dry. But as you can see, it's still like nothing of any dirt or buildup. Can someone use it at home or is it recommended um, to you by a professional? I would, prefer, I would say go to a professional. It's just difficult. It's a, it's, it's a lot. Like you don't have to have like, what, three mirrors just trying to <laughs> look at different <laughs> angles. But I feel like at least going to someone who could support you with your, your scalp in here once a month, just to kind of just have them keep a close eye on things. Yeah. That's the what could, you know, just making sure things are going well and not getting worse. Or seeing just maybe you need to change something or maybe, you know? Mm -hmm. But sometimes products you know, stop working and you gotta start doing it's like okay we gotta go back to these on board unfortunately cleansing the scalp but making sure that the shampoo is all over and the steam feels really nice yeah it opens it up more 
to get even a more thorough, deeper cleanse. Lift up your head just a little bit. Make sure it's in the back. Bring it down. This was the first time that like someone really just paid attention to my scalp first mm -hmm. and then go into shampooing and things like that. Even that device you were using, like I've never had that done before. Gotcha. And I feel like that's 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 amazing. Like you don't wanna just forget okay. about the scalp, like, no. <laughs> and I feel like the way you're starting off with the scalp and making sure everything's good with what I'm getting done today, that's gonna be like a great foundation for Yeah, to it. give you longevity too. Exactly, because I want this and to release. last. Do you suggest to oil your scalp or is that something we should, you know, I feel stay like away if from? you do, make sure it's not a heavy oil and make sure you're not using a lot of it. Like it's, depending on what, you know, style you have, you shouldn't have to put so much oil on your hair. I feel like sometimes people just overdo it a lot with the oil because they feel like it's helping with irritation and flakes. But if you're, if it's irritating and itching you, you actually need to wash it. Right. Put your head down. Okay. Because it's just like you're just locking in dryness with the oil. Hmm. So use it in moderation. Yes. If it's itching and it's flaky, it needs to be washed. Simple. How often do you suggest watching? watching? I said no one should go over 12 days without cleansing your scalp. No more than 12 days? No more than 12 days. Even with a protective style? I wash my hair in every protective style I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unless you know, like, you have something that can help you refresh your scalp, or some people have a lot of, there's a lot of products out there that help with just, you know, lightly cleansing, but you know, everyone is different. Some people feel like they don't have to do a lot. They just spray a little water with a little leave in and put their oil on and once a week and they're fine. But then there's, as far as people with really bad scalp problems, you right, you might really need to wash your hair at least every 12, 12 days or every week. Mm. Everyone's different though. Yeah. Because some people can go without washing their hair for a month and it not bother them. Right, so it all depends. Yeah, it really all depends. But I think as far as it being healthy, no more than 12 days. That's my honest opinion. And same thing with using butters too, with the oil in moderation. I feel like it all depends. Like they, they help with a lot of moisture. So it's like, if you're using butters, or what are you using oil for? <laughs> it's like either it, one or the other. Yeah, I just feel like it's a lot. Right. It's way too much. Just weighing your hair down and just, creating more buildup or you know if you're a person who sweats a lot it's just a lot it can be a lot that so it varies it's, yeah it's very well how can you figure out the kind of frequency of certain things that you need like that just depends on just you as a person and how active you are and what you have going on or should you just see a professional i think you should see a professional but also i think you just need to pay attention to what your what to yourself like how often does it take for your scalp to get itchy? When do you feel that your scalp is itching? When you use certain products, what do you see happening? You really, it's really like a consultation with yourself, like really just paying attention to everything that you're using and what your scalp and hair is reacting to over periods of time. Me down again. Those 
really good. <laughs> I feel like now I can't go back to just doing my hair myself. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Do you use steam with any service? Every service. Every, every service. wash. Because every, every service wash. starts with the wash. So nice. I like to wash with the steam always. Shiny. Wow. Ah, okay. Why does it look like a a sewing? <laughs> it looks like a sewing. It does. Wow. recommend for someone to use heat on their hair it all depends on what it is that you want to do like if you're someone who wants to heat train your hair i say every two weeks people come to me for silk presses he's like i want my hair to be heat trained and i want my hair silk pressed all the time okay so we do either every two weeks or once a month i don't like to see anyone that i'm servicing once a week for any type of silk press or stuff like that 
as far as if you're someone who wants to be very versatile with your with your styles, like you want to do wash and goes, you want to do two strand twists, I would say no more than three to four times a year. I feel like that's fair. And when you get your trims, and that should be when you get your trims, because every quarter it's every either eight to twelve, and that's usually what, out of twelve, it's like about four times a year, right? So four times a year, get your if you want if you do like it, get in the silk press. That's just you know you don't have to get the silk press to get it on it's trimmed. But if you're someone who likes getting your hair silk pressed some certain times out of the year, I feel like that should be the best time to get your trims every three four times a year. As as far as heat, when it comes to like blow dryer. Yeah, I feel like it all depends on what do you want to do too. Like if you're someone who, not even what you want to do, but it also the condition of your hair. If your hair is very dry, I would say stay away from heat as much as possible until you get gain. You find a regimen that can help you retain moisture, um, especially when it comes to like any type of style. If it's a wash and go, not a wash and go, but like two strand twist um, or any type of braid outs and stuff like that i feel like just let it air dry do it start it early and let it air dry just to make sure and if you do want to put some type of heat just leave it on cool like low don't have it on high heat because the whole point is for you to get some moisture back into your hair you don't want it to be keep being so dry and dehydrated and heat can take away from that um it doesn't matter about a serum or what's protecting it at the end of the day if your hair is dehydrated we need to focus on getting as much moisture and hydration as possible. And the best way to do that is with a good wash day, put a good leave-in or a mask. Um, I would say, yeah, like a good wash. I would say a deep condition, a good leave-in conditioner, and some type of cream that could, or like cream or butter, or whatever type of, you know, whatever you, you like to use. Everyone's different. So whatever you can use that can actually like help with a lot of the moisture and just you know, giving it your hair a TLC. I feel like with anyone, if you're a natural, you need to be mindful. If not only mindful, you need to be protecting it as much as possible. So if you're focused on those two things, that then you should be good. But it all depends. Like I always say, it all depends on what what you want and which what you want. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? That's why I like a lot of clients who come here to me. I always ask them like, what are your goals for your hair? What is it that you want to see? And what do you want to receive? What do you need me for? And a lot of them say, you know, I really just want to just stay consistent with, you know, getting my hair done and taking care of it because I know it's times where I don't want to do it. Or it's like, you know, I want my hair to grow. I want it to retain length. I want to retain moisture. Okay. What are the styles that you want to do? You know, what are the styles that you want to do? Because if it's like, okay, I want it to be like this, my hair is very dry and I want it to be more moisture. I don't want to it to look like this and be brittle and all these other things. And that means that we're going to probably have to start with a, a good wash, a good deep condition, a good treatment, a good trim. And also you picking a protective style, different protective styles that you can rotate between that can help you to go, you know, be a part of that, that kind of like that healing process to get to a healthy hair and scalp. Yo, my silk press experience was a success. <laughs> uh, Latisse got me right. Look at this silk press. Yes, I am here for it, y'all. My hair looks so good. It feels really soft. Like, my hair feels really really soft and there's shine and movement this was the first time that i've gotten a silk press in a very very long time professionally and like i'm impressed and i told latisse like she got me spoiled now like i don't want to do my silk presses anymore um she got me spoiled now because i don't want to do my silk presses anymore y'all i'm gonna leave all of latisse's information in the description if you're interested in checking her out and booking with her which you should if you're in the capital region um but y'all i am really loving this experience latisse is so knowledgeable when i say knowledgeable she's very very knowledgeable and specializes in natural hair care and y'all know that is something that i'm very passionate about myself so to find a natural hair stylist that really cares about your hair the health of your hair and everything like 
that's a win-win right there so i'm gonna leave all of her information down below if you are interested in checking her out and booking with her she did give me a good trim the last time i got a trim from latisse was in june and we're in november now i really needed a trim so she got me right y'all she got me right if there's any other topics you would like latisse to talk about leave them in the comments because we're working on something that i think you all will be interested in if you have any topics or questions for a natural hair stylist in particular leave them in the comment section or if you want to reach out to latisse herself you could go ahead and do that but if there's any video topics you want her to specifically talk about leave them in the comments but that's it for today's video y'all i hope y'all enjoyed it let me know what y'all think of my silk breast experience with latisse vance thank you latisse for hooking me up don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and i'll see you next time